In linear algebra, the column space also called the range or image of a matrix A is the span set of all possible linear combinations of its column vectors. The column space of a matrix is the image or range of the corresponding matrix transformation. Let f display style mathbound f be a field. The column space of an M times N matrix with components from f display style mathbound f is a linear subspace of the M space f M display style mathbound f caret M the dimension of the column space is called the rank of the matrix and is at most min M N a definition for matrices over a ring k display style mathbound k is also possible the row space is defined similarly this article considers matrices of real numbers the row and column spaces are subspaces of the real spaces rn and room respectively topic overview Let a be an M by N matrix. Then rank a topic dim R O W S P A dim Colspy R rank A equals number of pivots in any echelon form of A. Rank A equals the maximum number of linearly independent rows or columns of A if one considers the matrix as a linear transformation from Rn to room, then the column space of the matrix equals the image of this linear transformation. The column space of a matrix A is the set of all linear combinations of the columns in A. If A Topic A one and then Colsby A span A one and the concept of row space generalizes to matrices over C, the field of complex numbers, or over any field. Intuitively, given a matrix A, the action of the matrix A on a vector X will return a linear combination of the columns of A weighted by the coordinates of X's coefficients. Another way to look at this is that it will 1 first project X into the row space of A, 2 perform an invertible transformation, and 3 place the resulting vector Y in the column space of A. Thus the result y equals ax must reside in the column space of ac singular value decomposition for more details on this second interpretation equals Topic example equals given a matrix J, J equals 2 4 1 3 2 minus 1 minus 2 1 0 5 1 6 2 2 2 3 6 2 5 1 display style J equals begin B matrix 2 and 4 and 1 and 3 and 2 minus 1 and minus 2 and 1 and 0 and 5 1 and 6 and 2 and 2 and 2 3 and 6 and 2 and 5 Five and one in B matrix. The rows are R one equals two four one three two R two equals minus one minus two one zero five R three equals one six two 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 R four equals three six two five one. Consequently, the row space of J is the subspace of R5 spanned by R1, R2, R3, R4. Since these four row vectors are linearly independent, the row space is four-dimensional. 
Moreover, in this case it can be seen that they are all orthogonal to the vector n equals 6 minus 1 4 minus 4 0 so it can be deduced that the row space consists of all vectors in R5 that are orthogonal to n equals topic column space equals topic definition let k be a field of scalars let it be an m times n matrix with column vectors v1 v2 vn a linear combination of these vectors is any vector of the form c 1 v 1 plus c 2 v 2 plus plus c n v n Display style C underscore one mass BF V underscore one plus C underscore two mass BF V underscore two plus C D O T S plus C underscore N mass BF V underscore N where C one C two CN are scalars, the set of all possible linear combinations of E one Vn is called the column space of A that is, the column space of A is the span of the vectors V1 Vn Any linear combination of the column vectors of a matrix A can be written as the product of a with a column vector A C 1 C N equals a 11 a 1 n a m 1 a m n c 1 c n equals C one a eleven plus plus C N A one N C one A M one plus plus C N A M N equals C one A eleven A M one plus plus C N A one N A M N equals C one V one plus plus C N V N display style begin array R C L a begin B matrix C underscore one V D O T S C underscore N end B matrix and equals and begin B matrix R underscore eleven and C D O T S and underscore one N V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S R underscore M one and C D O T S and underscore 
underscore Minnesota end B matrix begin B matrix C underscore one VDO TS C underscore N end B matrix equals begin B matrix C underscore one R underscore eleven plus and C D O T S and plus C underscore N A underscore one N VDO TS and VDO TS and VDO TS C underscore one R underscore M one plus and C D O T S and plus C underscore N A underscore Minnesota end B matrix equals C underscore one begin B matrix R underscore eleven V D O T S R underscore M one end B matrix plus C D O T S plus C underscore N begin B matrix R underscore one N V D O T S R underscore Minnesota end B matrix and equals and C underscore one mass BF V underscore one plus C D O T S plus C underscore N mass BF V underscore N end array therefore the column space of it consists of all possible products X for X element of C N this is the same as the image or range of the corresponding matrix transformation. Example if A equals 100120 display style A equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 0 and 1 2 and 0 end B matrix then the column vectors are V1. topic 1 0 2 T and V2 0 1 0 T a linear combination of V1 and V2 is any vector of the form C 1 1 0 2 plus C two zero one zero equals C one C two two C one Display style C underscore one begin B matrix one zero two end B matrix plus C underscore two begin B matrix zero one zero end B matrix equals begin B matrix C underscore one C underscore two two C underscore one end B matrix the set of all such vectors is the column space of A. In this case, the column space is precisely the set of vectors x, y, z element of R three satisfying the equation z equals two x. Using Cartesian coordinates, this set is a plane through the origin in three dimensional space. Equals Topic basis equals the columns of a span the column space, but they may not form a basis if the column vectors are not linearly independent. Fortunately, elementary row operations do not affect the dependence relations between the column vectors. This makes it possible to use row reduction to find a basis for the column space. For example, consider the matrix A equals 1 3 1 4 2 7 3 9 1 5 3 1 1 2 0 8 display style A equals begin B matrix 1 and 3 and 1 and 4 2 and 7 and 3 and 9 1 and 5 and 3 and 1 1 and 2 and 0 and 8 end B matrix text the columns of this matrix Span the column space, but they may not be linearly independent, in which case some subset of them will form a basis. To find this basis, we reduce it to reduced row echelon form 1 3 1 4 2 7 
3 9 1 5 3 1 1 2 0 8 1 3 1 4 0 1 1 1 0 2 2 minus 3 0 minus 1 minus 1 4 1 0 minus 2 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 minus 5 0 0 0 5 1 0 minus 2 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 O oh, 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 oh. display style begin B matrix one and three and one and four two and seven and three and nine one and five and three and one one and two and zero and eight in B matrix sim begin B matrix one and three and one and four zero and one and one and one zero and two and two and minus three zero and minus one and minus one and four in B matrix sim begin B matrix matrix 1 and 0 and minus 2 and 1 0 and 1 and 1 and 1 0 and 0 and 0 and minus 5 0 and 0 and 0 and 5 end B matrix sim begin B matrix 1 and 0 and minus 2 and 0 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and 1 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 end B matrix text at this point it is clear that the first, second, and fourth columns are linearly independent, while the third column is a linear combination of the first two. Specifically, V3 equals minus 2 V1 plus V2. Therefore, the first, second, and fourth columns of the original matrix are a basis for the column space 1 2 1 1 3 7 5 2 4 9 1 8 Display style begin B matrix one two one one end B matrix begin B matrix three seven five two end B matrix begin B matrix four nine one eight end B matrix text Note that the independent columns of the reduced row echelon form are precisely the columns with pivots. This makes it possible to determine which columns are linearly independent by reducing only to echelon form. The above algorithm can be used in general to find the dependence relations between any set of vectors, and to pick out a basis from any spanning set. A different algorithm for finding a basis from a spanning set is given in the row space article. Finding a basis for the column space of A is equivalent to finding a basis for the row space of the transpose matrix at to find the basis in a practical setting e.g., for large matrices, the singular value decomposition is typically used.
Topic: Dimension. The dimension of the column space is called the rank of the matrix. The rank is equal to the number of pivots in the reduced row echelon form, and is the maximum number of linearly independent columns that can be chosen from the matrix. For example, the 4 times 4 matrix in the example above has rank 3. Because the column space is the image of the corresponding matrix transformation, the rank of a matrix is the same as the dimension of the image. For example, the transformation R4R4 R4 described by the matrix above maps all of R4 to some three-dimensional subspace. The nullity of a matrix is the dimension of the null space, and is equal to the number of columns in the reduced row echelon form that do not have pivots. The rank and nullity of a matrix are with n columns are related by the equation rank a plus nullity a equals n display style text rank a plus text nullity a equals n this is known as the rank nullity theorem topic relation to the left null space The left null space of A is the set of all vectors x such that xta equals 0 t, it is the same as the null space of the transpose of A. The product of the matrix at and the vector x can be written in terms of the dot product of vectors A t x equals V 1 x v 2 x v n x display style a caret m a t h s f t mass b f x equals begin b matrix mass b f v underscore one c d o t mass b f x mass b f v underscore two c d o t mass b f x v d o t s mass b f v underscore n c d o t mass b f x end b matrix because row vectors of it are transposes of column vectors v k of a thus a t x equals zero if and only if x is orthogonal perpendicular to each of the column vectors of a. It follows that the left null space, the null space of it, is the orthogonal complement to the column space of a. For a matrix A, the column space, row space, null space, and left null space are sometimes referred to as the four fundamental subspaces. Topic: <laughs> For matrices over a ring. Similarly, the column space, sometimes disambiguated as right column space, can be defined for matrices over a ring K as K equals one n v k c k Display style sum limits underscore k equals one carrot n math bf v underscore k c underscore k for any c one c n with replacement of the vector m space with right free module, which changes the order of scalar multiplication of the vector v k to the scalar c k such that it is written in an unusual order vector scalar. Topic row space.
Topic Definition Let K be a field of scalars. Let A be an M times N matrix, with row vectors R1, R2. Room, a linear combination of these vectors is any vector of the form C 1 R 1 plus C 2 R 2 plus plus C M R M Display style C underscore one Math BF R underscore one plus C underscore two Math BF R underscore two plus C D O T S plus C underscore M Math BF R underscore M Where C one C two C M are scalars the set of all possible linear combinations of R1 room is called the row space of A that is, the row space of A is the span of the vectors R1 room. For example, if A equals 102010, A equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 and 2, 0 and 1 and 0, end B matrix, then the row vectors are R1. Topic 1, 0, 2 and R2. 0 1 0 a linear combination of r1 and r2 is any vector of the form c 1 1 0 2 plus c 2 0 1 0 equals C one C two two C one Display style C underscore one one zero two plus C underscore two zero one zero equals C underscore one C underscore two two C underscore one the set of all such vectors is the row space of A. In this case, the row space is precisely the set of vectors x, y, z element of K3 satisfying the equation z equals 2x using Cartesian coordinates. This set is a plane through the origin in three-dimensional space. For a matrix that represents a homogeneous system of linear equations, the row space consists of all linear equations that follow from those in the system. The column space of A is equal to the row space of A. Topic basis The row space is not affected by elementary row operations. This makes it possible to use row reduction to find a basis for the row space. For example, consider the matrix A equals 1, 3, 2, 2, 7, 4, 1, 5, 2, display style equals begin B matrix 1 and 3 and 2, 2 and 7 and 4, 1 and 5 and 2, end B matrix. The rows of this matrix span the row space, but they may not be linearly independent, in which case the rows will not be a basis. To find a basis, we reduce a to row echelon form, R1, R2, R3 represents the rows 1 3 2 2 7 4 1 5 2 R 2 Minus two 
R one one three two zero one zero one five two R three minus R one one three two zero one zero zero two zero R three minus two R two one three Two O one O O O O R one minus three R two one O two O one O O O O Display style begin B matrix one and three and two two and seven and four one and five and two end B matrix under brace sim underscore R underscore two two R underscore one begin B matrix one and three and two zero and one and zero one and five and two end B matrix under brace sim underscore R underscore three R underscore one begin B matrix Matrix one and three and two zero and one and zero zero and two and zero end B matrix under brace sim underscore R underscore three two R underscore two begin B matrix one and three and two zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero end B matrix under brace sim underscore R underscore one three R underscore two begin B matrix one and zero and two zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero end B matrix. Once the matrix is in echelon form, the non-zero rows are a basis for the row space. In this case, the basis is one, three, two, zero, one, zero. Another possible basis 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0 comes from a further reduction. This algorithm can be used in general to find a basis for the span of a set of vectors. If the matrix is further simplified to reduced row echelon form, then the resulting basis is uniquely determined by the row space. It is sometimes convenient to find a basis for the row space from among the rows of the original matrix instead for example, this result is useful in giving an elementary proof that the determinantal rank of a matrix is equal to its rank. Since row operations can affect linear dependence relations of the row vectors, such a basis is instead found indirectly using the fact that the column space of it is equal to the row space of A. Using the example matrix A above, find it and reduce it to row echelon form. A T equals one two one three seven five two four two one two one o one two o o o. Display style a carrot t equals begin b matrix one and two and one three and seven and five two and four and two end b matrix sim begin b matrix one and two and one zero and one and two zero and zero and zero end b matrix. The pivots indicate that the first two columns of it form a basis of the column space of it. Therefore, the first two rows of A before any row reductions also form a basis of the row space of A. Dimension The dimension of the row space is called the rank of the matrix. This is the same as the maximum number of linearly independent rows that can be chosen from the matrix, or equivalently the number of pivots. 
For example, the 3 times 3 matrix in the example above has rank 2. The rank of a matrix is also equal to the dimension of the column space. The dimension of the null space is called the nullity of the matrix, and is related to the rank by the following equation rank a plus nullity a equals n display style operator name rank a plus operator name nullity a equals n where n is the number of columns of the matrix a the equation above is known as the rank nullity theorem Relation to the null space The null space of matrix A is the set of all vectors x for which ax equals zero. The product of the matrix A and the vector x can be written in terms of the dot product of vectors A x equals R one x R two x R M x Display style a mass BF x equals begin B matrix mass BF R underscore one C D O T mass BF x mass BF R underscore two C D O T mass BF x V D O T S mass BF R underscore M C D O T mass BF x end B matrix where R one Room are the row vectors of A, thus ax equals zero if and only if x is orthogonal, perpendicular to each of the row vectors of A. It follows that the null space of A is the orthogonal complement to the row space. For example, if the row space is a plane through the origin in three dimensions, then the null space will be the perpendicular line through the origin. This provides a proof of the rank nullity theorem. See dimension above. The row space and null space are two of the four fundamental subspaces associated with a matrix, of the other two being the column space and left null space. Topic: <laughs> Relation to coimage. If V and W are vector spaces, then the kernel of a linear transformation T, V W is the set of vectors V element of V for which T v equals zero. The kernel of a linear transformation is analogous to the null space of a matrix. If V is an inner product space, then the orthogonal complement to the kernel can be thought of as a generalization of the row space. This is sometimes called the coimage of T. The transformation T is one to one on its coimage, and the coimage maps isomorphically onto the image of T. When V is not an inner product space, the coimage of T can be defined as the quotient space V, Ker T. Topic. See also. Euclidean subspace. Equals equals notes. <laughs>